Hey folks. This might be one of the rarest posters we're gonna talk about ever. I mean, I don't know. It's, 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 all right. So the Allman Brothers Band, one of the most important rock, blues, southern uh, improv bands of all time. And the Allman Brothers are super dear to my heart. I mean, I can recall in great detail the first time anybody dropped the needle on Fillmore East. It was, it was, you know, it was 15 and I had never heard music like that and it changed me. And I went on to see the band dozens of times throughout the years. And, you know, Greg Allman was, if not the greatest, one of the greatest American rock singers of yeah. all time. And, you know, Dwayne Allman, his brother was the greatest rock slide guitar player. You know, I mean, it, it's, it's, look, this is 1970. This band was pivotal. They took blues to a whole new level. And what we have here is a poster that we've never seen, heard of, or even understood existed. This Not is, just us, but anyone. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a one-off event. It was a benefit in Philadelphia to uh, help, you know, uh, youth parish and, and underprivileged kids. And it was a request of Dwayne Allman to play a festival with blues legends. Because, yeah. I mean, you know, the brothers were the messengers of, of Delta Blues. I mean, sure. yeah, I'd never heard of Elmore James before the Allman Brothers. And it just is an incredible piece of, cause, and, and the fact that it really doesn't show up on the books that much is super interesting. Yeah. So anyhow, this was an event, a benefit in Philadelphia, August 16th, 1970. Called Blues Bag One. And this piece is, you know, uh, the lineup is, is, is incredible. Obviously, the Allman Brothers and Buddy Guy and Luther Allison, one of the best blues guitar players ever, Mississippi Fred McDowell, and a 21-year-old Bonnie Raitt a year before she released her debut record. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. This, and we have a, we have a few pieces of ephemera that go with this. <clears throat> Again, you know, so there's a flyer. Yeah, that one we've sold once or twice, but I mean the the poster, poster we've never, never seen. We have a ticket for the event. It's Teeny tiny, it's un unused, yeah. And we have an invitation for an event that was uh -huh, a month. Got to get the glasses. Yeah, yeah, sorry, it's, yeah. it's real serious business. Oh, this is serious. July twenty second. <laughs> it you were invited to a blues bag bash. Eat, drink, and get funky with the Allman Brothers, Luther Allison, and other blues freaks. So this <laughs> must have been a pre-party, I'm assuming. There's not a lot yeah. of information on this event. So we're going to do further research. And there's other pieces of really interesting ephemera that go along with this. There's contracts and press kits and yeah. all. It's a very deep story. We will have this show up in an auction at concertpostergallery.com sometime in the near future. But we wanted to give a preview of this thing and we'll try to get as much background as we can. But the Allman Brothers in 70 in Philly, maybe, a, maybe a one of one poster. Yeah. I mean, if you've seen it, if you have it. Yeah. Please contact us. If there's, us. Yeah. And we would certainly love to you know get any information about this event if anybody attended it or anyone has any recollections this would be you know the time to get in touch with us because yeah. we're trying to do the detective work mm -hmm. to work backwards to find out more about this event so we love the blues we love the almond brothers we love posters come check out this auction when we launch it yeah but drool over this poster for now yes yeah, stay tuned for this one uh showing up for public auction soon and thank you for joining us <laughs>